The Clippers come in fourth in the Western Conference, playing terrific basketball heading into the All-Star break. Winners of 10 of 14. Terrence Mann had been wonderful. He's joining the Clippers. Five for five, and now seven of seven from the free throw line. I didn't think about it that way. Fox looks inside to Sabonis, his All-Star. George tries to cross over the rookie Murray. Gives to Westbrook, who juggles. Paul George is there to save it. Plenty of time on the clock for George, and he knocks down a three. The Clippers are down by two. Sacramento, by the way, has not missed a shot here this first quarter. Five for five. Broadcasters keeps firmly in place. You are welcome. Clippers get the rebound. Murray does a good job to wall off the offensive-minded Leonard. Kawhi now spins into the paint, whips a pass. I don't know how he saw Paul George in the corner for three. Put that one in the highlight reel. What a pass. What a shot. Several months on the NFL sidelines and signing autographs from her high-flying bird movie that she was in and allows us to talk to her as Senior knocks down a three. Well, he comes from behind, perhaps alters the shot. Plumley pokes it free from Sabonis, and now the Clippers look to push. Westbrook to the rim and lays it in. We are tied at 21. Timeout, Sacramento. Westbrook returns to the floor. Finds George, open for three, lets it fly, book it for Paul George, 57-51 Clippers. Powell bump going up, doesn't get the whistle, can't get the shot. Kings come away with a rebound, they trail by five. Great defense by Paul, deflection, picked off by Westbrook. Powell, a catch and shoot three in the corner. So credit to Mike Brown and the job he's done this season. He said that it, they've had the belief since early on. It was important to instill that with his players, Brian. Triple double last night in their win over the Portland Trailblazers in a game that Damian Lillard, Jeremy Grant did not play. Mitchell coasting in and lays it in. Here's George. Batum. George, a catch and shoot three. It's all cut. For Paul George, he's got a dozen. The, the offense has done a great job in this game, but of course he brought up the defensive end of the floor and the 42. Herder disappears behind the Sabonis screen, comes up firing, leaves it. Nick Westbrook has a pretty good idea of what he wants to do with Kawhi and how he should get him the basketball. Just get him the basketball and get that guy the basketball as well. And so now Paul George will go to the free throw line. And knock down the technical foul shot. Is a Clipper killer last year. George gets the contact from Metu. It's a late whistle, but it's a good one. Counted at a foul. Send George to the line. George, 18 points here for the Clippers. Give him one more. Clippers now 20 of 22. Monk with one more. George with a rebound. Sacramento 21 of 26 from the free throw line. Seven to shoot. George summons the ball. Mitchell, a gifted defender. Exhibit A, Your Honor. Mitchell quickly ahead to Lyles. Lays it up, but not in. George with a rebound. And a long time to go against a very confident Sacramento team. George down the lane. Counted on a foul. And send that young man to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. He has not been on the floor since the last three minutes of the third quarter, so that is a significant period of time he has had to sit on the bench. Lyles walled off by George, cut the pass inside to Sabonis, intercepted by George Leather Larceny. From the line to the lane, in the corner to Batum for three. Oh, he has done it again! North Powell with 24 threes tonight. If you wonder, 25 is the franchise high. George Collins! And these two teams are going to lock horns once again next week. Pocket picked by Fox. What a play by Sacramento. Fox, an elite finisher around the rim and a rare miscue. And the defensive breakdown by Sacramento. Well, they had a sharpness to them as George splits a pair of defenders, goes to the rim, a whistle and a foul. And what a way to kick off the kind of unofficial second half of the season. As George misses the first of three with a high-scoring affair here for the Hasty. Two, 11 coming from the bench, five from Batum. Fast as the Kings play, they're very good. Under seven to shoot on the shot clock. Mark, block three, George saves it to Barnes. Are they not going to call a 24-second violation on that? I don't understand it.
I don't know if you could be 14 for 16 from the floor if there was nobody guarding you. Quite positive with that Fox. Takes it back the other way. By the way, Kawhi hasn't missed a shot here in the second half. He is 9 for 9. Another giveaway. Murray. Just trying to get the ball in bounds. Running over defenders. Throwing careless passes cross court. It's 34 points off of turnovers for Sacramento. You, you want your best defenders out on the floor here, so you got to think about who's over there on the bench that could help you defensively at the same time. Under 10 to play. Westbrook fouled. They go to the line. Win, lose, or draw. Sacramento will still have a chance. First and two for George Ford. Again. Clippers have first crack at it here at the extra session. Clippers will last in overtime in Madison Square Garden. George for the lead puts it in. 33 for Monk in 32 minutes off the bench. Seven to shoot for George. Westbrook in the corner for three. He put it in. 160-156. Monk the other way. Sabonis with the... Talked about this back in the early part of the fourth quarter. It's been the bench that has been so good for Sacramento. You know there's going to be a lot of fouls in end-of-game situations and overtime. So that's why you want your best free throw. Nick Couture himself, by the way. Free throw off line. George with his 10th rebound. He's got a double-double. Westbrook into the paint. Deflection by Fox. George recovers. Runs over Metu. They're going to call a blocking foul. 32 for George. 10 of 13 from the free throw line. And the very few times the Clippers have a rest advantage, they have it tonight. Again, hard to tell with how outstanding. Here we go. Powell. Batum for three. Sacramento wins in double overtime, 176 to 175.